hello guys and welcome to the channel so today we're going to be doing a recap of a new yaoi bill manual called my egocentric boss is obsessed with me chapter one so let's get started with the video as usual guys please do not forget to leave a like if you like the video also subscribe to the channel because it really helps to push the videos on the youtube algorithm so let's get started with my egocentric boss is obsessed with me chapter one so you see the chapter starts babe What's with this design plan? Do you see him speaking to someone? You can't draft a design like this. No wonder the manufacturing team looks down on us. So they are at the office, in the office. Do it over. So you hands him the big bad to go redo it. Babe, is my boss from Mechanical Design Team 1, my fake babe, Mr. Wojo, so that's his boss's name, so you tell him the title of the manual, my egocentric boss is obsessed with me, chapter 1. Mr. Wu is the f is the ace of our team, almost on the same level as a team manager. All the machines he designed were purchased by major corporations, one after the other. He's so talented that the director of our company even offered to give him his own team. On top of being skilled and having a handsome face, he's also the same age as me. So you see the person speaking and then you see his boss. I joined the company as his junior because I changed my major late in college. He's on, he's on a completely different level. I don't even feel jealous of him. So I don't mind showing him the respect that I would show a senior. So we get to see that they are the same age, but the guy is, you know, higher in class than him. But after being scolded like this at work for a year, my self-esteem is about to hit rock bottom. Shake, shake, shake. Ha! Ah, my mental strength is withering away. What's wrong? Did Mr. Wu tell you to redo the design? So I guess this is his colleague. Well, I don't have to redo everything. It's just that the numbers have changed. That sounds like an easy fix. But that design plan is f the foundation for everything else. Since the numbers changed, I have to shift the placement of the whole and for over 20 pages at that. Ooh. I see. Good luck. Hey, seriously, what does he expect me to do when the numbers changed last minute? Suhan, lower your voice. The canteen walls are paper thin. So he's trying to make him, you know, lower his voice because the boss could hear. 
take a minute to cool off okay i'm gonna go now my coffee mix has finished dissolving so he's thinking to himself uh, i don't want to go back to my seat though my shoulders are stiff from sketching designs all night yesterday at home. Well, I was hunched over my coffee table all day in my tiny one room studio apartment. So we're shown how much he was walking. It's no surprise that my back and shoulders are killing me. Oh, someone's here. I should get out of their way. So we see someone, you know, getting closer to him. Babe, so someone taps his shoulder. Is something stuck in your throat? So it's his boss. Uh, so he turns around and sees him. No, not at all. So you see him quickly hurrying to grab his coffee so he can walk away see him walking away as fast as he can F my fragile gay heart can't handle this so you see his heart beating badum badum why does his skin have to smell so nice is it because of his pheromones? Is he trying to me? So obviously this is an Omega verse. Manwa. That's right. I'm gay. Not only that. But I'm a gay guy who's had zero interest in dating. Since I broke up with my ex a year ago, that door has closed. But Mr. Wu has constantly caught my eye for a year now. And as if it isn't bad enough that he's pushing me to the limit when it comes to work. Do you see the boss? He's also been straining my heart too. On my first day at our company, so he remembers his first day, babe, he called me babe. As a result, I got my hopes up thinking he might also be gay. M me? Yeah, you. Bring me that design once you're finished sketching it. Okay. Oh, babe. Why didn't you check the materials I sent you yesterday. However, I soon realized that Babe was the nickname he used to refer to anyone below his rank at the company. That's what that was when I gave up all hope. I should have known my gator really is broken.
and whenever Mr. Wu called anyone babe, it was always followed by huge assignments or harsh words. It feels hot in here. Although the female employees would admire how good he looked in, a suit, in his suit from afar. So you see the girls staring at him. Babe. Babe. Ha <laughs> ha What are you waiting for? Ming Kyung. Mr. Wu is calling you. <laughs> so you see them trying to avoid him. No, he's calling for you, Mi Young. What are you talking about? You're the one he's calling, Eugene. They were busy scrambling to avoid him like the plague. <laughs> I'm probably the only one who still gets excited when he calls me, babe. So you see him thinking. Everything he does is bad for my heart. The way he scans the materials with his lofty eyes. Oh then. The way he lashes the way his lashes flit up slightly when his eyes meet mine by chance. The way he knits his brow when his opinion conflicts with someone else's. And the way his lips move as he argues one point after the other. When the conflict is resolved and a tired smile forms on his face, I end up grinning along with him. Seems like he really likes the guy. How is my heart supposed supposed to handle all this? Oh, my coffee is getting cold. I should stop daydreaming and go back to my seat. Assembly team manager, so. Huh? Team manager, so. There was a flaw in the product you designed. Can you bring the design plan and meet me on the first floor? A flaw? What could have gone wrong? Anyhow, there's someone who definitely shouldn't see this. I better slip the design into a folder and leave quickly. So you see him, you know, doing exactly what he said and he's trying to leave. Where are you going, babe? Here he is, the person who really shouldn't see this. So you see the boss trying to like find out where he's going to. Uh, I'm just heading to the first floor for a bit. Oh, so you see he snatches the folder from him. His boss snatches the folder from him. And takes a look. Ack, my fragile gay heart. Wow, he smells good. Oh. I can smell his pheromones. I mean, his skin again. Think wholesome thoughts. Wholesome thoughts. Huh? Does he want me to hold a mug for him? Adorable. So he takes the mug. Jeez, I still can't get used to his taste in cute characters and isn't this a limited edition mug it's it's the same one 
as my youngest this is the same one my younger sister has he looks like an obsessive dumb and yet hmm so you see the boss you know going through the papers he's been looking at the design for a while now he slicked only half his hair back again today it was a, it was a shame when I had to look at his face from the other side of the table during our meetings this angle is much better for my viewing pleasure when I look at the shape of his eyes and the sharp bridge of his nose I can't help but wonder if someone designs his face according to all their ideal proportions. Maybe one of his parents is a foreigner. So his boss, you know, looks at him. You can see him, his heart still keeps beating. Hmm, what's wrong with this plan? It's one that I checked myself. I'm not sure. I got a message from the assembly team saying there was a problem. Well, I don't see a problem here. Why should you go down there when you did nothing wrong? It's not about who is in the right or wrong. Since the production has been halted, I should go see what the problem is. Here's your coffee getting cold. I heard Mr. So yelled at you before. So you see him take, he flinches. Why is he bringing that up now? happened a few months ago during my summer vacation so you can see this is where the chapter ends this is where the first chapter ends and we're going to be continuing with the second chapter in the next video so I hope you guys like the little summary I did of my boss is obsessed with me chapter 1 if you liked it Please leave a like, also do not forget to subscribe to the channel because it really helps the channel. And thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day. Bye.